So prayer is not the exact same thing as worship. So when Catholics pray to saints, we're not worshiping the saints. We are asking them for help. We're asking for their prayers. So this deflates a, a common objection you see to praying to the saints. Here's one from Ralph McKenzie and Norm Geisler's book, Roman Catholics and Evangelicals. And they write in that book, they say basically it's okay to ask other Christians on earth for prayers because, quote, we are not praying to them, but merely asking them to pray for us. But that's the same thing. Prayer is making a request or asking for help. When Catholics pray to saints, they don't ask the saints. They don't treat the saints like God, saying that the saints can directly cause things to happen here on earth. Rather, we ask the saints in heaven to pray for us, just as we ask other Christians on earth to pray for us. It doesn't make them gods. It just makes them our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. Now, one objection to this is that if you ask the saints in heaven for prayers, a lot of people are asking them for help. Doesn't that turn them into omniscient deities? Uh, the televangelist Jimmy Swaggart said this. He said that of the saints, asking if so many people ask them for prayers all at once, it would make them both omniscient and omnipresent. In other words, each saint would have to be God in order to answer all the prayers or requests that are being made of them. But that's not the case. That you don't need omniscience or knowledge of all truths or infinite knowledge in order to answer prayers made from earth. That's a finite amount of knowledge. And actually the prayers that are made uh, by Christians on earth to the saints is a very finite amount of knowledge compared to the infinite amount of knowledge in our universe. Think about the collection of atoms in our universe or the set of infinite mathematical truths that are out there. The saints don't have to know all that, and they don't know it on their own abilities. They're not gods in that sense. They know it because God gives them the knowledge of what Christians are asking for on earth. So to give what on earth is Trent Horn thinking? What kind of theology is that? To, you cannot make up your own ideas and call that doctrine. That is just a misguided, misleading teaching of what, what a person thinks and not what can be summarized by the truths that God has revealed in His Word. Let's talk about this. Seriously, the distance between earth and heaven is tremendous. And we have no knowledge that the souls of men in heaven, the souls of people, can hear what people on earth are praying. There is no scripture for that. And then there are millions of prayers being offered up. How in the world can uh, souls of men and women have the ability to hear all these millions of prayers? That is impossible. When someone dies and goes to heaven, they don't become uh, God-like where they can hear the prayers on earth the bible never teaches that and it really does make out the saints or the people in heaven to be gods because god is the only one that has the ability god is omnipresent omniscient omnipotent god is uh from everlasting so this uh, abilities that God has, no one else has. So Trent Horn is really missing the mark with this teaching. And then, of course, uh, the also make it, this teaching that, that Trent is, is, is putting forth makes uh, prayers to God a game. Why? Because God hears our prayers. And if God hears our prayers, why would he then relate them to the saints and say, okay, now you pray for them to me, what I'm hearing? That is ridiculous. That would make God out to be playing a game. If God is, can hear our prayers, why would he need others to do the same and then to pray for something that God already knows? 
uh, if God hears uh, you, what need does he have for others to relate the message? That is the question. No, God has no need for anyone to relate any messages. God hears everything when you pray in the name of Jesus Christ. 